or what to do when you're in half garden fly doubt and switching to butterfly guard and half butterfly. So I'm just going to run through that and you'll get to see everything there. Uh, the situation is I'm here in half guard, but he's got the underhook on the side of my leg. And he's, maybe he's trying to get the cross face, but I'm protecting that, but I'm flattened out. And join your hands, so you're tight. So I can't do any of the game here where I'm supposed to hip out and take his back. So what I've got to do is switch to something else. A few things first. The way I cross my legs. My outside leg comes over first, and then my inside leg goes over both of those. And it seems like a little detail, but it'll make sense in a little bit. So just make sure outside leg, outside leg over, inside leg over, like that. I've got the hand by my face, just so he's not terribly cross-facing me. I'm still kind of screwed up, just since, you know, he got me flat. But here's where I'm going to go. I'm going to, my legs here, I start opening them up, and I put my heels on his calf, and I start stretching his leg down. And I'm using monkey feet to push his knee away from my butt. So I'm trying to get some space here to put this hook in. If his foot, if his knee is still kind of close, bring it up. So I'm pushing it down, I can't get my foot in. Shrimp out, put my hook in here, it's still kind of close. I have to go back to here, it's a little too close. Shrimp out, put it in, and I can, I can wiggle my toes and get it in, or I can try grabbing my foot and putting it in. So the hook's in, once it's in, my hips come back inside. I'm going to reach over, grab his belt. The hand that was protecting my face grabs his pants. And I'm going to do, you can see, there's a, always a wrinkle right here by his pants. What I'm going to do is all at once, pick up his pants, pick up his belt, and pick up my hook like this. Bring my knee up, and now I'm in butterfly guard. Both hooks are in. I keep the grip on the pants. I'm just going to push everything away and sit up. All right, let's show it again. Here, open up my feet, stretch the leg down, hip out, hook in, got everything in there, grab the pants. I'm going to lift everything, butterfly guard, stretch them away, and sit up. Um, a few details from near the legs this time. The reason I'm doing the legs this way is because if I do it like this, bring this foot to your butt. Now I'm trying to do the monkey feet. I'm trying to stretch his leg away, and I've lost his calf. So I, I don't have room here anymore to get it. So earlier on, before he had a chance, the outside foot's here. Try to bring your foot to your butt now. This foot is stuck in there, so I can always bring his leg back. Um, a few other details on the leg. You can do, it's a minor detail, but you can do it toes pointing in and pinching like this, or heels pointed in, pinching like this, and it's just preference, uh, not a big deal. Hips out, keep speeding out. If I have my hips out and I try to do this move without putting it back in, all I'm really going to do is lift, <coughs> he's going to be heavier, and he's going to jump, he's just going to land past my guard because I'm throwing him uh, over my leg. So my hips are out, they come back underneath so I can lift them straight up and do that. Same situation, he's got an underhook, he's got the cross face, or I'm still trying to defend it, but you know, not much is going on. This time, I'm starting the same routine. Stretch him out, hook in. When I go for this leg, bring this knee up higher. So I can't, my grip here is weaker this time, so I can't really lift. So I'm gonna go underneath like this. And I'm getting under his leg. I'm gonna try to pull him by the belt and by reaching behind, like I'm gonna to go towards my head, pull him up on top of me like this. And I'm trying to pull his hips up over me. You see how he's got his arms now? I'm just gonna keep pulling everything like this, trap his arm. Put my foot down and roll him over and come on top. Take my arm out, head and arm. Alright, again from this angle. Same routine. Stretch his leg down. Keep kicking it. Hook in. Hips underneath him. Pants aren't a good grip. I'm not going to be able to lift this. Swim underneath. I 
I use, well, I'm using my arm scoops a lot of this, but I pull him to me with my hooks like I'm trying to roll him up over my uh, belly. This arm, I pinch in to trap his, his uh, elbow and he's, so he can't post, put it on the ground, roll him over, head and arm. Um, let me show another little thing. Um, the thing I was going to say is, if he does post, so I start doing this, get this arm out, he can just start stretching him away and do X guard and stand. That's just a bonus for Falcon. Alright, that's it. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're filming? Yep. Alright, same situation. Everything's building off of this. This time, I can still do the first one. Lift him, set the butterfly guard. What I'm going to do this time is because I've got the hand over the belt and he's got the underhook, I'm just not going to bother trying to pummel. This hand, come over here. This hand is going to reach around. I'm going to feed the lapel down. I'm going to get the wizard here. And I want this arm here. The key thing is because the usual game is he wants the underhooks, he wants to flatten me out, do all those things. Go ahead and try it. Uh, yeah, so I've got to, if I'm going to keep, get, give him the underhook, I've got to keep a couple things so I don't get flattened out. I want my head on the inside. I want my butt far enough back and my shoulder leaning forward so that if he does push into me, I can stay sitting up. And my hooks are keeping him stretched up and away. So if I just lay here and I keep, uh, I got my butt too close, he's just going to push into me and he's going to put me down, so I've got to keep sitting into him. From here, I'm, this is actually really easy, this is the basic butterfly guard sweep. Grab the elbow, lean, get this part. If, if his hand's over here and I just grab here like this, I try to sweep, his hand's going to keep posting. Or if I do this, he's going to keep posting his hand and I'm not going to sweep him. Grab the elbow, scoop with my own elbow, and suck it in, and then I'm just going to fall to the side, Come over, roll on top. I keep my mean grip there. Just start from here. Imagine I return from butterfly guard from here, pull the pant, pull into this. My head's inside, wrap my hand through, feet line the lapel down, hand. I'm just going to scoop it, get sucked into my armpit. If I hold too deep and I try to sweep, he still puts it down. So I want to be here like this. I put my hook through, fall to the side, throw him over, and sit down. Okay? Done. Okay, same routine. I'm getting ready for the sweep. This time when I try to take him over, he puts his leg up. All I'm going to do is reach under, throw my hips. I want to get under square underneath him again. I'm going to roll him over. I just did that same sweep we were doing earlier. Hand comes out, just kind of up. Uh, this is actually the same thing we were doing a minute ago, but I wanted to show it from a different uh, setup, just to sh so you could see how these things fit together. I go for I go for the sweep, put his leg up, go underneath. Remember the thing I was saying about the hips. My hips are turned on their side, so for the sweep, I come back underneath, trap his arm, reach to my head, Roll them over. Come up. There. Same thing we were doing before, but I wanted to show how you can use the hook sweep and that uh, under the leg sweep together in a different combinations. <laughs> 